Hey everyone, this is Justin. Thanks for watching. In this video, I want to talk to you about one of my favorite tools, Alignment Planner Workspace, and an integration with Azure DevOps that allows you to pull in stuff from Azure DevOps into your Alignment Planner Workspace so you can do that planning, that enterprise, business unit, portfolio level planning from one place and have visibility into everything. So this particular app came out with San Diego. It just got an update in um, on May 5th with a couple of other things. And those updates included some things like import of bulk work items, um, some scheduled jobs to fetch things for you. So just make, basically iterating over it and making it a little bit better. But Alignment Planner Workspace, what I got up here now, this is gonna, I'm gonna start with the backlog. And unlike my previous video, in this one, now that I've turned this integration on and had it configured, I have this button here on the upper right. If I hover over it, it tells me I can import planning items from external systems. So I'm gonna use this and I'll get an option for Azure DevOps. And that's gonna pop up a dialog box for me to specify the project in Azure DevOps that I wanna pull work items in. It's gonna default it because of the way I configured this to pulling in epics. And then I can specify a date created from, created to, I can search by work ID or work item ID, the title, the state, the priority. I can just put all that search criteria in. I'm just gonna pull back everything. And in another video I did showing Azure DevOps and Agile Development and ServiceNow connected, I created this demo epic in ABO. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna check the box for that one. I could have checked it for several of them. I'm gonna import it. And that is gonna, what it's gonna do, it's gonna create a request in ServiceNow to do that import. Well, what's going on here? What ServiceNow is doing is they're instantiating a subflow. That subflow is following a bunch of steps to go get that information, look at the payload, map that to a bunch of fields, and then insert that record on the ServiceNow side. So if I move between my goals and back to my backlog, that should have given enough time, uh, because I don't have a refresh button, um, to actually see that one now in my backlog. So there we have demo, um, Epic, and ADO showing in my backlog. Now, once it's here, you could do all the things that I showed before to prioritize, move things up and down. We can um, open these up and actually look at certain items for this particular epic. And the, some of those items that are gonna make this be able to show on the roadmap are an approved start, an approved end date, and also the state of this. So let's take a look at the first one here, approved start and approved end. I'm gonna go ahead and populate some dates in there. Let's just do June uh, 1st of uh, this, of this year and we'll run that through all the way to December 31st just so we can see what this looks like on the uh, roadmap now that this is coming over from Azure DevOps and we have visibility into it so let's do that and we'll change the state from new to now it's been prioritized and uh, I'll save that I gotta get rid of that little guy there save and we'll go back to the backlog and we should see those uh, dates been, have been populated on the grid view and the state has been changed from new to prioritized. So everything is looking good there on my demo epic and ADO, got everything prioritized. Um, and if I go to my roadmap now, we should actually see the demo epic and ADO showing on the roadmap. And we'll just give that a chance to pull up here real quick. That's my dog. And there's the demo epic in ADO. And uh, I can click on that and do all the things that we can do with the roadmap and looking at things so I can still get in there and look at that epic. And if you watch the other video, if we make changes here, these are going to sync back and forth between the planning item and the epic. And if that connection is made between ServiceNow and Azure DevOps, it'll sync that between the epic and Azure DevOps to keep things in sync. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please like, please subscribe, or share it with somebody you think might be interested. Until next time, I'll see you on the next one.